Hey guys and welcome back to our home. I am Antoinette and um, I just want to just quickly jump in and you know, but wait, 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 before we get started, let me just say happy new year. Um, this is the first video of the year and it is already January the 9th, but it's okay. I just want to say, you know, I hope to pray that 2021 brings you guys nothing but happiness and joy and, you know, peace and love and prosperity, you know, things that you have been praying for, for God. I just hope 2021 really brings that, you know, to you. So... I just really want to quickly, you know, have a conversation with you guys. The reason why we have not been posting in our home. So, so this is going to be like a update slash, yeah, update and why. So, just an update. So, um, the last video post was November the 25th. No, it was the 26th because I posted in November the 26th. So that was the last post that I did. So it has been literally a whole month and some days since I have posted. Because I was fighting with discouragement. Discouragement was just walking over my head. Like it was so attached to me. It was just like, it was crazy. Like it did not want to leave me alone. I was discouraged with life. I was discouraged with making YouTube's video. I was discouraged with, you know, just my future. I was discouraged with just who I was. And I also was being discouraged with, because you guys know that I'm on a weight loss journey. I was discouraged with that. I mean, discouragement really was just talking to me. Like we were like, like he just came or she, just came and just sat down next to me and was like, like talking to me as a friend. Like, you know how you guys talk to your friends and we talk to our friends and stuff. Like discouragement came and sat at the table with me and just was talking to me. We was just sitting down having dinner and it was like a fight for me. It's still like lingering around a little bit, but I am a lot better compared to what I was like a month ago. But, you know, I still have some stuff that I'm, I'm working through, that I'm going through, that I'm working through. But I'm telling you, discouragement was like, hey, girl, what's up? Let's hang out. Just wanted to be my best friend. And I just really had to push myself through and like, no, no, we got, we got to get through this. We got to get through this. Because there was some stuff happening, some things happening to me. I'm like, God, but you said this. Why is this happening? And it was just so much that was just so discouraging to me that I just was like, you know what? I, I can't do this. I, I, I'm, I'm like, I was kind of losing hope in that moment. And I, that's why I stopped recording. I stopped recording because I just, I didn't, I didn't have no hope no more. So, yeah, so that's just like the update of where we at. And I, I'm not going to say I'm 100% there all the way, but again, like I already mentioned, I am a lot better than where I work. So I've been reading this book. I'll tell you guys about the book later. So that way I can really um, give you a lot about the book. So it kind of really awakened something inside of me from last night to this morning. I've been, I was up last night just reading this book and <sighs> it's like one of them books you pick up and you can't put down. So I'm, I'm on, I'm reading this book and I'm just like something woke up inside of me last night. Well, this morning, cause I've been up since three. Maybe four. <laughs> but anyway, so from last night when I started reading the book around about, well, yesterday, I should say. I started reading the book at eight. I think I fell asleep around about uh, 10, 11 o'clock. Woke back up at like three, four o'clock. Three between three and four. Started reading, fell back asleep. But anyway, it ain't about what all of that. But yeah, so the book really it started to really wake something up inside of me. Started to really encourage my heart on like, okay, pick yourself up, 
keep going. And that's one thing, before I let you guys go, that's one thing that I love about myself is that I always pick myself up and keep going. Every time I go through a situation, I'm just like, okay, God, I got to get through this. I will cry it out. I will get on my knees and just cry it out. I will cry it out. I will keep crying and I will cry again <laughs> and I will cry again. And I was just, you know, but I want, I just always pick myself up and keep going. No matter what I go through in life, I always just pick myself up and keep going. It hurts. It hurts going through a situation. It hurts, you know what I'm saying, when you feel like people are going to be there. It hurts, but in the same sense, I had to just like pick myself up and keep going. So I was just, yes, I was so discouraged, but, and, but that was, too long to be discouraged <laughs> about everything, but I had to get through that. It was, I had to get through that. And I had to just pick myself up and keep going. I had to keep picking myself up and keep going. Sometimes I get it. We don't want to have to pick ourselves up. We want somebody else to come and just like pick up the pieces and build us back up together. But Many times, as the songs say, sometimes you have to encourage yourself. You have to encourage yourself. So I had to just do that. I have to keep, if I don't, if you don't have anyone to help pick yourself up, you have to do it yourself. You know, of course, with the help of God, because God going to always be there. God has been with me when I didn't even know he was with me. So between God and I, we had to pick myself up and keep going. So, all right, this was not supposed to be like a preaching moment, but you know, I guess this is, I'm not going to say, I guess this is something that God is pulling outside of me because I, uh, I pray and this is something he's pulling outside of me. I was not supposed to come on here and get the preaching. I was only supposed to come on here and say, okay, why I have not been been blogging in a month but I, I can feel that I can feel it coming alive inside of me but that's okay because I, I give the flow to God I let God take over whatever he needs to say I let him say it because I told God I said God use me use me I am the vessel you use me you come through me to what you want me to say and I see and I feel the spirit is really using me because he wanted me to say just pick yourself up and and keep going you may be discouraged right now but just pick yourself up and keep going just don't give up because the word also says if you do not give up I don't know the exact verse and I use it in my own words but God always tells us don't give up don't give up you may get weary you may like me got discouraged but keep picking yourself up and keep going you know all right so <laughs> Oh, Lord Jesus, because every time I get in this space, I don't know how to shut up. I don't know how to be quiet. It's because I just, I be wanting to just get it out. What I, all right, God, come on. <laughs> I want him to stop, but, oh, <laughs> because this was not supposed to be this. And I need to just stop fighting it and let him speak what he needs to say, you know, so. All right, Lord. Like I said, this is your flow. This is your flow. This is your area. <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. If you guys watch my other channel, like, I get so excited when it comes to me preaching the word. And that's another thing. I got discouraged with that channel as well because that was an empower, empowering uh, YouTube channel as well. This is our family channel, as you guys know. But that other channel, like, I got discouraged with that channel as well because I'm like, God, I mean, what do you want me to do? I'm, I'm, I'm speaking your word. I mean, I'm telling people what you want me to say. But if nobody is watching me, what do you want me to do? So I'm just like, I got discouraged with that channel as well. I also, you know, I, I got discouraged with my website. I have a website. It's, I don't know if you can see my shirt, but it's allstepsmatters.com. And I got discouraged with my website. I have not been on my website in months. And I haven't been posting. I haven't been writing. Because like I said, discouragement had came and sat at my table with me like we were buddies. And I'm just like, oh, God. So I had to just really, 
I got to pick myself up and keep going. You know? So, alright. I'm going to end this video here. I thank you guys for coming inside of my home. As always, you guys know that you are always welcome inside of my home. I just hope and pray that, you know, you guys can pull something out of this video. I may was all over the place because, I mean, I'm just letting it come. Whatever God was saying to me, and you know, I feel it in my spirit, I'm just going to say. So, you know, I hope that I got it out of the way. I feel it in my spirit. And I hope that you guys can pull something out of this you know, that can help you. Because I'm telling you, if discouragement is knocking at your door, don't let it. But if it came in and sat down at your table, you, ha you have the power. God says you have the power to defeat things like that. So you have the power to, to tell that discouragement you have to leave. You're not welcome here. So that's why it's important to get the word inside of you and see in that moment, in that time, I, I, I have word inside of me. And that's the part of me that, that frustrates me. It's because I have the word inside of me, but I keep letting things come inside of me that I know it's not supposed to be inside of me. If that made any sense. <laughs> like, okay, let me, let, me, let me say that again. I have, I read the word. I dream the word, I um, eat the word, I meditate the word, I, um, I mean, like, I walk with the word, I carry the word, everything, like, I have so much word, don't get me wrong, it's still a lot of things that I'm learning and I'm going through, I mean, learning and I'm reading when it comes to the word, but I have a lot inside of me, but I still let other things come inside of me, like fear, like discouragement, and I know what the word says when it comes to them things, but I still let it in, because I, I have to guard myself when it comes to them things. So, but in my mind, I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. My man just be, uh, we, 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 we trying to, we working it out. But <laughs> we, we working it out. But all I'm just saying to you guys is, you have the power. If discouragement is coming, if discour if you and you know when these things are coming, you can sense it. You can see it coming. If you sense it, if you feel it, then you it's time for you to get in that word. And I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I saw it coming. I start I was in it, but I didn't get I didn't I didn't I didn't pull the word like I should have. I let it take me all out of focus. We got to stay focused. We got to. I was just so out of focus. So out of focus. Well, I stopped. I completely stopped blogging. I don't even like, I wasn't even on fire to preach the word. It's some stuff that came to me that I know that I should have said, but I wasn't on fire. I wasn't on fire to do it. So we, I'm getting, I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> So, it's, God gives us the power. I was supposed to end this video like 30 years ago. <laughs> Y'all know, in my house, I love to, I have a personality. I love to act silly. So, um, I'm going to end it now. I'm thirsty. <laughs> and I have my child hair to do. I have my child, I have to do my child's hair. So, um, yeah. I just, again, like I was supposed to end it 30 years ago. <laughs> I thank you guys for coming inside of my home. You know, I, I really do. It's, it's always something going on inside of my home. You just never know what you may get coming outside of my home. So, you have to subscribe to this channel and you, you know, gotta come back. Make sure you guys come back. You're always welcome. You guys have a blessed and awesome day. Peace out.